Say good morning, everyone. Bye. Say good morning. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. This little girl's been a little clingy this morning, but that's Bye. okay. I love my cuddles in the morning. Bye. What are you doing? Bye. Are you hanging out with Roxy? Roxy is so like patient with the kids. Um, you know, they pull her hair, they jump on her and play with her, and she is just so patient. Sometimes I have to put her in a different room just to give her a break because the kids love her so much. Um, but you're nice to all the other doggies, and you're nice to Roxy, but you just like to play rough, huh? Someone's sleepy. You sleepy? Let's go. One, two. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Oh. What are you doing? Oh, that's my shirt you're pulling down, kid. Oh, no kisses. <laughs> Give hugs. Oh, look at you giving hugs. That's so sweet. Are you going to... Oh, Papa taught you that, didn't he? He grabs the nose go honk honk. Let me see. Honk honk. Show me. Go. Honk honk. Is it honk honk? Not impressed? Honk honk. <laughs> Silly. Good girl. Be nice. That's her collar. Good girl. Is that her nose? Got the doggy's nose. You give give Roxy hugs. Oh, you're so sweet. There's meanness. There's trouble. Trouble. Guess who isn't taking a nap today, or at least his first nap? Are you? Are you excited you don't take a nap? Eh. Yeah? Tell him. Tell him, say, I don't take naps in the mornings. Eh. Yeah. Say, I'm a big boy. Yeah, so he's totally not wanting to take a first nap, which is fine. He's kind of just been hanging around. I've been editing a vlog, and he's been on my lap just sitting here kind of watching. And as long as he's good, he doesn't have to take a nap. He'll probably take a better nap this afternoon, which will be great for my parents because they will be going to their house this afternoon because Mommy's got a chiropractor appointment that is oh so needed. So I am excited excited for the chiropractor appointment. Thumbs up if you seek a chiropractor and you love them. <laughs> look at those teepers. Show her by your teepers. Look at all those teepers you're getting in. So we got a couple up here now. Look at them. <laughs> look at all these. Get your finger off the land. <laughs> You're stinking cute. You're stinking cute. Get your feet off the counter. Get your feet off the counter. You are so tall and long-legged. Nobody. Oh, I've never really put my kids in time out before and I still haven't, but I have had to put them in their playroom because they just made a mess at lunchtime. I gave them vegetables to eat. They didn't eat any of them. They threw them all over the floor. Carter had it all. He dumped his whole bowl in his lap and refused to eat his lunch. 
so they are currently in their playroom screaming and crying it's technically like a timeout for them because they don't want to be in there but I've got a mess to clean up and I'm not happy that they threw their food everywhere how did you get your kids to stop throwing food on the floor leave your comments below because I need to try something so do you guys remember those little um, topper things that I got for the the meal pouches that you know you see kids eating like applesauce and stuff out of they are actually coming to good use. The kids know how to use them now. And they can drink their little applesauces on their own. And she just took her top off. That's no good. But he's almost done with his. Yeah, you done? You still got some in there. Do you want it? You want me to help you? It seems like they can get most of it out. But they still need mama's help to get all of it out. So yeah, these toppers are really good. I'm excited that I had originally gotten them. I didn't think we were going to be able to use them, but the kids seem to love them. Alrighty, we are getting ready to head to a friend's house for the evening, kind of do dinner and hang out by the pool for a little bit. Um, my husband is inside trying to get some things um, before we leave. And I just wanted to give you guys an update. I did go to the chiropractor today and it was really nice. I actually feel a lot better. Um, essentially my hips are out of alignment so we will be working on that and then he's not sure if um, it is kind of a muscle spasm thing going on or if there's like a skeleton issue as far as like in my neck area right here. Um, if you remember in my previous videos I had told you that my neck had been really tight and it was just hurting very badly and I think that's what was partly causing my migraines to be so severe. So that being said, I went ahead and did a couple x-rays which are being sent back to him so he can look over them and then I have another appointment on Wednesday to kind of go over and figure out exactly what's kind of going on and what the plan is going to be to fix the issue. Of course, my hips being out of alignment is my babies, <laughs> me carrying two babies. That sun is bright. Um, carrying two babies at one time can do that to you. Actually carrying one baby at a time can do that to you. So I haven't been to a chiropractor since I've given birth. So this is the first time I've been in probably a good year, year and a half. As far as my neck goes, that's kind of been an ongoing thing. I've had issues with it for many years. Um, not sure if it's partially due to playing softball so much or you know what's going on there, but hopefully we'll get it fixed. I do like this chiropractor. Hey there everyone, we are home. We went to swimming lessons. The kids did great. Um, besides them being fussy with the new instructor, and again, I don't know what's going on with them, but they have been crying every time they're with this instructor. I don't think it's her per se, but at the same time, I think she did mention that she's been pushing them a little bit more to make them learn how to float on their backs. And so today, she got them floating on their backs and they were doing it by themselves but they were also crying while they were doing it but they did do it and she's teaching them how to go to the wall to kind of hang on you know once um they get to a wall in a swim pool i went ahead and we ate lunch with my parents and then decided to come home because carter was getting a little cranky again he doesn't take his first nap and so usually about this time he is ready for a nap so I figured if I get him home, he can take a nap. I can maybe enjoy the pool for a little bit. But as you can see right now, they are not taking naps. He's actually playing with clothes, I think, that are up on the grip and they are just having a grand old time. I'm hoping that though, once they're done having fun, that they will go to sleep. Oh, I think those are wipes. I think those are wipes. <laughs> OMG, guys. What are you doing? That's not nice. Oh, goodness. Look at this mess. Uh, yeah. 
you did it, and you did it. You did it, and you did it. Yeah, you guys need to go night night. All right, lay down, go night night. Yeah, if they take a nap, I'm gonna probably get in the pool for a little bit just to get some sun. I'm really needing it right now. But I got this in the mail. I went ahead and ordered their new life vests and I got them today and I really like them. Um, I had to move from their old life vests to this life vest because their old life vests, or actually they're, they're pretty much brand new life vests, but they can't wear them anymore. Um, was actually all the way around them and so you couldn't adjust the sides and it was very uncomfortable for them they were just like squished up like sardines and their face was hitting the um top of the life vest and it was just not comfortable for them so while we were up in connecticut um there was a boy there that had one of these life vests on and i was talking to his dad about them and they have been using them for a couple years and said that he's loved it. So I went ahead and let the um, twins try them on just to make sure that they would fit and they did and they looked very comfortable in them. So I went ahead and ordered a couple. I think I did get the blue and yellow and the yellow and red because they had a blue color, like actual full blue vest, but I figured with these two bright colors, if something were to happen, heaven forbid something happens, but at least they will be noticeable. You'll be able to see them easier. It's our napping, so let me see if I can get some vitamin D for a few minutes at least. lasted for a hot 20 minutes and then I had to come in because Ryan was grabbing everything that was in her reach from the crib and she took the noise machine down unplugged it like everything so I ended up having to come in At least they're in a good mood, so I guess that's a plus. <laughs> Can you get up, Carter? That's what this strap is for. Come on. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's how you're supposed to float. Oh, this is supposed to float. Come on, get up. Let me help you. Come on. There you go. There you go. You just got to learn how to balance with it. There you go. Do you need help up? There you go. Good job. Say, I've fallen and I can't get up. Say hi. You want me to help you up? Okay, everyone. I have been working on a filing system that I had actually purchased, I think a couple years ago, and I just never used it. I it's called the Freedom Filer, and so I really wanted to go through some filing that I needed to get done, and so I was going, going ahead and um, using this to 
help me file a little bit. It's a little confusing at first, but I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I've got a lot of papers to file and to figure out where to put everything, but um, I am going to go ahead and end the vlog because I have a little girl who is just fussy tonight. I don't know if she's not feeling well or what, but um, it is nine o'clock and she is still not sleeping. So I'm gonna go check on her and see if I can get her to go to bed. I am still working on my bathroom. It's coming along slowly, but surely again, I ran into some bumps as far as, you know, not being able to use the storage items that I had gotten. So I'm still trying to work with that, but I will show that to you as soon as it's done. But if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. Look at that smirk on her face. She knows that she got out of bed. I think you're feeling just fine. I think you're feeling just fine and you're just acting like you're not feeling well so you can stay up. Say thanks, Nana. Or Papa. Hack. <laughs> Are you trying to bite me? Give me kisses. <laughs> Ooh, yuck! You're licking me.